began in 1978, the project carried a price tag of £7 million. But by the time it was finished, that cost had shot up to £25 million. And once finished, the government found it didn't have the money to equip the building, so it lay unused for a year and a half. It's a hospital which hasn't lacked for political attention. First approved by Brendan Corish in 1974, the first sod on the site was turned by Mr Charles Hockey as Minister for Health four years later. Then in 1980 came Dr Michael Woods to top off the building. The first patients were wheeled in in April last year, attended on by Coalition Minister for Health Mr Barry Desmond and on Thornishta Mr Spring, in whose constituency the hospital stands. And then another row broke out. The Fianna Fáil dominated health board refused to allow Mr Spring open the building in June last, just before the local elections. And the already made commemorative plaque had to be put away. So today it took place by Mr Desmond's hand, with no local political advantage to anyone. But why did the cost of the project run away from seven to twenty five million pounds? There were additional services added after the original contract had been signed and the original design had been signed. There's also, of course, inflation, and the price of equipment has been included in the finishing price now. The new hospital will, when fully operational, provide 425 beds. At present, funds have been found for just 300 beds. So parts of general wards, a psychiatric unit, and a geriatric unit have had to wait. But the hospital does bring medical services in Kerry to a new high. The project replaces the old St. Catherine's Hospital just across the road, a building of the 1840s, originally a workhouse, then a poor law hospital, later, after rebuilding in 1937, a general hospital which quickly became cramped and unsuitable. <laughs>
Yeah. 